Hello dear students, this is Dr. R. Bivar. Today I am going to discuss with the topic post-colonial criticism. Post-colonial criticism is one of the important literary theories and criticism which emerged only in the 1990s with the and it has got its influence and effect in criticism only with the works of greatest critics like Gayatri Chakravarti, Spivak, Homi Baba, Bill Ashcroft and Edward Said. These critics had their role in post-colonial criticism. <clears throat> Let us discuss what is the effect of this post-colonial criticism. The first effect of post-colonial criticism is to undermine the universalist claims. What are these universalist claims then? These universalist claims have been made by the Europeans. Whatever the standards, the claims are there, they were, they were all made by the Europeans. And the important aspect of this post-colonial criticism is to reject the claims of the Europeans. Why to reject the claims of Europeans? What is the main reason behind this? Why to reject this? Whenever a work of literature is considered for its significance, only the standards of the Europeans have to be seen while judging a work of literature only the norms and conditions the standards which were made by the Europeans that has to be considered not the other norms not the other standards of the world have been considered while judging a work of literature the criticism itself says, while judging a work of literature, there should not be any prejudices. So, when we consider a work of literature for its significance, then these standards were always come forward. And other standards are not at all being considered. So, uh, this standard, standardity of the Europeans have to be rejected. They thought that their standards, their rules, their norms are great. And the uh, norms, rules, standards which were made by the other non-Europeans that at all those non-European norms and standards are not at all being considered. So the main aspect of post-colonial criticism is to reject this universal claim and the second important aspect of post-colonial criticism is to find a vice, is to get an identity in the past as well as in history as well as in literature. Why to find a vice? Why to find an identity in literature as well as in history? What is the necessary to get a, to get a vice? What is the necessary to find an identity. 
so we always dreamed of our own identity then whenever we want our recognition whenever we want our own identity these all eurocentric norms comes in our way i said that we have to get our own past and uh, the history has been taught only with the comings of these europeans our history has started so long ago our past has not at all been discussed why our past has not been discussed why our history is not discussed only the europeans history whatever the history was created by the europeans that has been discussed what about our own history what about our past what about our culture what about our religion these all things have not mattered for the europeans why we are only discussing about the europeans because these europeans have role ruled so many of the nations of the world they have controlled most of the countries in the world so far we are considering these europeans they were also called as colonizers who are having the power in their hands who are having control in their hands with their power control with their superiority complex they ruled the whole world though we are having everything still we felt inferior why because because this has been put by them in our mind we never thought that whether it is right or wrong whatever they said is it right or wrong we never thought so even the history was told from their prospect so we have to find our own past we had we have to find our own culture we have to find our find out our own identity we have to raise our voice otherwise we will not get uh, recognition so the second aspect of post colonial criticism is to find a voice is to get an identity in history as well as in literature even in literature we are not having any place our works have not at all been considered earlier why our works have not been considered earlier because we are asians we are africans we are the suppressed people so far our works have not at all been considered we are not of that standard which they thought so our works have been totally neglected by them in literature in history or in other fields we are not having any place at all so to get a recognition to get a voice to find an identity these people especially the asians and the africans raised their voice so we have to claim our own past what is our history 
we have to claim it why to read the people of other history we have to read of course the history of the other people but at the same time we should respect our own history we should have our own history whatever they said that is not right who are they to tell our own history history has to be created by our own people not by the europeans so uh, with the comings of uh, the europeans the history has been told from their prospect that has to be rejected we have to find our own history we have to get a place in our history we have to claim our own past the next notion of uh, post colonial criticism is that these european people thought they were superiors and the other non european people are inferiors why they thought we are inferiors actually i am saying that we are inferiors because we are also asians so far why they thought we are inferiors just because they ruled us just because we are black so they thought that we are inferior to them and they also thought that we are dirt we are others we are untouchables we are not clean they are white we are black so because of these all reasons we have been considered as inferiors inferiority cannot be judged only by the color only not only by the way of living but they considered only on these basis who are they to consider that we are inferiors we never claimed that we are also superiors because of that reason they claimed they said that we are inferiors so we have to fight against this so the second aspect of post colonial criticism is to reject that the thought of the europeans that is we are inferiors and the east people have been always presented as cruel sensual decadent and lazy people do we we are lazy we are cruel we are decadent let us think not at all and we accepted because they said we never thought once in our life whether we are like that we are not at all like that but since we thought so only because of those people the emotions and reactions are always determined by racial considerations and not by their individual status or circumstance the first main characteristic feature of post colonial criticism is an awareness of representations of the non european as exotic or immoral other we must be aware that we are not other 
If they said so, we are others. We don't have to think that we are others. Whatever they said, that is not right. We should ourselves think that we are not others. We are not inferiors. We are not dirt. We are not unclean. Who are they to judge us? So, there was a great awareness regarding the representation of the non-Europeans as others. And the second concern of post-colonial criticism is language. When we come to the language, again the Europeans language is considered superior and the others language is considered as inferior. We even accepted that our language is not good. Take for example, whenever a person speaks very fluently in English, we appreciate that person. Have we ever appreciated our own language? Not. Because that has been put in our mind forcibly. So, the second concern of post-colonial criticism is language. Our language has to be considered. It also, it should also get its recognition. The third emphasis is on identity. Our identity is double. Our identity has been made hybrid. Our identity is unstable. And this identity has to be made stable. So, post-colonial criticism generally views post-colonial literature as having made transition in three phases. The first phase is adopt phase. In that phase, what we do usually? We accept the standards or the rules, norms, whatever made by the Europeans unquestionably, without questioning them. We accept the idea and concept of the Europeans in this first phase. And the next phase is adopt phase where we, what we do, an attempt is made, that is an attempt to adopt European forms to, to express colonial experience. According to us, for our suitableness, we adopt it. The last phase is adopt phase where we declare the cultural independence. We declare our own independence in the last phase of this post-colonial criticism. So let us discuss wholly what this post-colonial criticism is mainly concerned. The main concern of this post-colonial criticism is to get an identity, is to get, is to find a recognition, is to find a place in literature, in the history, in, and we have to claim our own past. Our past has to be read with our people, with, with the coming of our people, not with the only coming of the Europeans. Language has to be considered, the past has to be considered, the culture has to be considered, the religion has to be considered, 
each and every aspect of the world has to be considered in this post colonial criticism the norms and the standards and the universalization of the europeans have to be rejected because their standardity and their claims are not proper while judging a work of literature if you read uh, the novel called things fall apart which was written by chinua achibe we come across how intellectually these europeans have destroyed the culture of the african people that is the nigerian people with the effect of their modernization with the effect of uh, their missionaries their schools how intellectually they destroyed the culture and their past and it is also our own mistake that we have accepted their notions their concepts so far they ruled us otherwise they were they were they were not having such a courage we gave them freedom to rule us so we have to claim our own identity our past our language our culture whatever are there we should claim that is the main concept of post colonial criticism thank you for listening this lecture